Welcome to another video of House Dad Life. Today we're going to talk about the uh, sense after one month and what I like about it and kind of where it's uh, at today. As you can see on the screen, got quite a bit going on right now. <laughs> Look at this guy, what an energy pig. Good thing it doesn't go on for too, too long. The live bubbles is a cool feature I still really enjoy. I like that. Uh, for new devices, uh, I've got a Heat 3 that showed up here. Now I still don't know what this is, but I think it might be a heating element inside my dishwasher. Welcome to a bird free video of host dad life. Bird's a little crazy this morning, so we put them in another room so I can record and you guys can actually hear what I'm saying. As you can see, I've got a couple of things that are still uh, from last time. The aquarium heater's on here. I've got tile floor heat, the always on, which I've actually managed to uh, help find devices that were leaching power and turning them off. So far, it's given me about uh, 200 watts uh, of always on power that's now cut out. Uh, what was it? Uh, just some uh, fans in an old PC and an old computer that was running instead of being switched off when it uh, was not in use. Another uh, one of the things that I really like about the, the sense is the uh, detecting of devices. This is almost completely automatic, which is totally awesome. The only thing that I have to do is, uh, like for example, with this Heat 3, this is a new uh, device that showed up. I have to find out what that is. Now, the cool thing about tracking this stuff down is you can go by the day, you can go by the week, month, and you can kind of see where it was used last. So I'm using day here right now, and you can see between yesterday, between about 7 and 8 o'clock in the evening, this device was run. I kind of have a hunch. I think it might be the dishwasher, just based on frequency and when it's getting run. So I'll kind of keep an eye on it. The way I like to do this is to, uh, to track down this device. Uh, you can actually go into the device and click the gear tab on it and alert me when this device turns on, just like that. Click on save changes and it'll go to your phone if you've got the app installed and it'll just send you a not notification when this thing turns on. I'm going to do it for both on and off and hopefully that'll help me track this thing down in a hurry. Now, how does all this stuff matter and why do I still like the sense? Uh, for example, one of the devices on here is tile floor heat in my bathroom downstairs. Now, here what we can get, just very quickly, a summary of a week and what we use. 19.7 kilowatts, or $2 is what it's costing me to run this thing a week. The cool part about this thing is you can actually take this thing now, or that information, because now you have an average for a week. You've done nothing for it. This thing's automatically kept track for you. And you walk over to your tile floor heat, and you set this temperature to absolutely anything you want, run it like that for a week, and instead of somebody telling you exactly how many watts of electricity that you're using, you know exactly what you're using for yourself. Not a statistical 20% or any of that crap. So I'm really liking that. So I'm using the 19.7 actually as a baseline for my tile floor heat. We turned it up a degree and I'm curious to see how it's going to end up showing up. It's helped us by becoming more power conscious about the devices that we are choosing to run. Uh, little things like taking two bulbs off of uh, a grow table that I'm not using that side off instead of I, typically, I would have left all of them running. How will I use this information? Uh, for one, the next hot water tank we will buy will definitely be a different, uh, higher investment. We are kind of doing a lot of renovations in this house when we moved into it. And I just bought the cheapest run-of-the-mill, uh, needed a hot water tank. Chucked it in, done. That will not happen again. This thing drinks a lot of electricity. It's uh, probably about 35% 30 I think is the uh, total. In fact, I can look it up here. 20, sorry, 24% of my monthly use goes just to heating hot water. Whoa, look at this. Heat 3 is active. 
Let's go see if my hunch is right, and it's the dishwasher. She's running. I think we have her nailed down to the dishwasher. This is kind of cool too. It suggests that Heat 3 is actually a dishwasher as well. A smarter version of me would have checked this before I would have run around the house a bunch of times. So do I still like this thing? Absolutely. I, I really do like it.